Singapore's law and home affairs minister has acknowledged that, quote, something has gone wrong in the chain of events in the case of a maid wrongly convicted of stealing from her former employer, Changi Airport Group Chairman Liu Man Leong. Keisha Mugam says the case is being reviewed and authorities will be accountable. Justice Chan Sing On had cited gaps in how the police investigated the case and handled the evidence among factors behind his decision. In the process, we should not be defensive, but it should also not be a witch hunt. It's got to be a fair process. We have to find out what happened and why it happened and then deal with it and be accountable. That's the best way to build trust in public, in the system. And so come out in public and say what steps we have taken once the reviews are done. Speaking on the sidelines of a community event, Mr. Shamugam also commended the lawyer of Party Liani for being thorough and for finding inconsistencies in the evidence. He added that it was good to see the law is impartial, regardless of the background of the people involved. I would say, you know, my, my own view is, looking at the judge's uh, judgment, it's good to see justice delivered. It's not between uh, a very prominent business person and a uh, foreign domestic worker. She was charged in a criminal case based on a complaint by the business person. Uh, and uh, the judge's judgment goes through the facts very carefully. It sets out what the break in the chain of evidence is. And uh, in that way, it's good to see uh, that justice is both blind and justice has been delivered. The minister's comments came on the day Party Liani walked out of court a free woman. The 46-year-old has been given a discharge amounting to an acquittal at Singapore's state courts. She was cleared of her fifth and final charge just days after a high court judge overturned a district court ruling which found her guilty of stealing $34,000 worth of items from Mr. Liu's family. The fifth charge had accused Ms. Party of possessing 18 items suspected to be fraudulently obtained. These were discovered when she returned to Singapore two months after being sent back to Indonesia in 2016. Now they include jewelry, branded wallets and bags, but the charge was withdrawn today. Volunteers from home, that's the NGO that supported Ms. Party, were present as the decision was read. Though muted in the room, they were in a cheery mood when they left the building. Home says that Ms. Party intends to return to Indonesia after the matter is resolved. Ms. Party declined to comment. Her lawyer, Mr. Anu Valchandani, made two applications in the courtroom. Firstly, for the 18 items to be returned to her. On that, the judge advised all parties to discuss the matter and write into court. Mr. Valchandani also asked for Ms. Party's fingerprints and photographs in the criminal registry to be destroyed. But the judge says all consequences of the acquittal should follow through and that there was no need for this direction. And when asked about next steps or what the case could mean for workers in Ms. Party's position, the lawyer says he will share more in due course. We will release a press statement. I don't want to, like I said, make any comment in a piecemeal manner. I hope you all can uh, understand that a party also wishes a little bit of privacy in this matter, as well as, I guess, all the other parties involved with this case. On Friday, the High Court had acquitted Ms. Party of stealing after finding that the Liu family had an, quote, improper motive in making a police report. Ms. Party had been sentenced in March last year to two years and two months jail. Following the acquittal, several agencies issued statements on the case. These include the Attorney General's Chambers, which said that the findings raise questions that warrant further investigation.